And with only a few days of notice, noticeable snowfall so far this season, those whose livelihoods rely on this kind of weather have been forced to adapt their lines of work to make the best of things. Alex Love certainly got a first-hand look, as we saw earlier, at how they do that, and he reports now from Wayne County. This winter has been an uphill battle for businesses in the tourism and service industry that rely on snowy weather to get customers. So far here at Greystone Tubing, they've had to rely on more man-made snow to stay open, but this weekend, turnout picked up. For the McBride family of Newark, this was the first time they've been able to enjoy a winter tradition of hitting the tubing lanes because the weather has been rarely on their side. Not anything. <laughs> this is the first actual like snow we've had, and I'm used to feet of snow. <laughs> so we really haven't had a winter, honestly. <laughs> All season, Greystone had to keep producing more of their own material, but even with the lanes nice and snowy, foot traffic has not been what they're used to. We've got four snow machines this winter. Um, it's been tougher because I think people look outside and they see grass and they don't think to come snow tubing. So it's definitely been a little bit slower this year. I kind of pair that with the idea that more parents are back to work in office and probably traveling. Every local business we spoke with called this the mildest winter they could remember experiencing. So adjustments had to be made. We have scaled back our hours a little bit this year. Um, that's just mostly been based off of the interest of customers. It's a little disappointing because like today is so white with all the nice fluffy snow, I think this is beautiful. So it's been tougher because I feel like I've been waiting all winter for winter to start. It's kind of made up for it when you have the contract. Some of our residential are prepaid, so that kind of helps. But we still, like this year alone, just with our truck sitting, we have over $12,000 into them. So um, the bills still come in. The insurance still has to be paid. Employees still have to be paid. Gina Dandria works with her wife at Girl Plower Snow Plowing and Landscaping. This spring and summer, they plan to expand their grass cutting and lawn care services to make up for lost revenue in the winter. We're getting into mowing um, and we've been in landscaping, so we're going to focus big on those uh, and hopefully expand on that and see if summer can bring us some good revenue. This man-made snow at Greystone Tubing is dense and thick enough to last for months. But this is their last full month of service, so the time to come out and enjoy the winter fun is now. Reporting in Walworth, Alex Love, News 8. All right, thank you very much for that report, Alex. Certainly looks like it was a blast out there. Great to see everyone having some fun.